According to a recent investigation conducted by the U.S. Senate, the Obama administration has failed to protect thousands of children who have recently crossed the border from Central America. These children have been left highly susceptible to human traffickers with countless numbers of documented cases where the kids have to work daunting hours to pay back debts to their smugglers. The Office of Refugee Resettlement under the Department of Health and Human Services failed to conduct proper background checks on thousands of adults who claimed children. They have also allowed sponsors to take custody of unrelated children and have often placed children in homes without performing follow-up visits. Once these children were no longer under the jurisdiction of federal shelters, the Office of Refugee Resettlement allows the sponsors to stop caseworkers from administering post-release services. This investigation originated when it was brought to Senator Portman's attention that several Guatemalan teenagers were found in a trailer park in Ohio where traffickers had held them against their will. Since 2011, over 125,000 unaccompanied minors have come to the United States in the hopes to escape the violence and persecution they face in Central America. The findings in the report have concluded, and I quote, the administration's policies and procedures were inadequate to protect children in the agency's care. The report also discussed roughly 30 cases where children were trafficked after officials released them to sponsors despite their clear indicators of trafficking being present. Human trafficking is a serious problem in our country and has exasperated areas like South Florida with a large migrant population. It has been a major cause for concern for me, especially when learning more about these devastating stories. We must do a better job of combating human trafficking and educating our friends, families, employees, and neighbors on how to identify the proper signs. Human trafficking is a disgusting and utterly deplorable offense. It is the epitome of modern day slavery. I will continue to be a voice for those individuals who are taken against their will. As long as I'm in Congress, they will always have a voice fighting for them.